Oh, is the window open? Sorry. I, I'm mostly blind. You know, I, I'd like to report a, a crime that happened here earlier. I, I went to the hospital. I, I was diagnosed with influenza. And um, they discharged me um, without a reasonable place to go. That That's a, a felony. That's more of a civil matter. That's something you have to take up with uh, who supports you. Man. So your officer like escorted me out of the building. So I'm, uh, I was hoping maybe his superior was aware that he not only not enforced the law, but instead of investigating the crime, he, he uh, had me removed from the hospital knowing that I have influenza. I mean, that's something you want to take up with, I guess, whoever the supervisor is down at the hospital. Do you guys deal with that a lot here? Honestly, I don't know. You you just hang out over here by the hospital? You don't know? Well, I don't work in the hospital. You, you usually hang out of here? Well, right now, it's 5 o'clock in the morning, and I just drive around, see if anything's going on, wait for a call to come in, I respond to it. So right now, I'm just posting up right here. Well, I reported a crime, and you... you do you think it's necessary to investigate it? I mean, it's pretty cold out tonight, right? I definitely shouldn't be outside with influenza and no jacket. So, Shelly, I mean, I don't think... Are you aware of the crime that I'm speaking of? No, actually, I'm not sure. I believe in, in, in layman's terms, they call it patient dumping. I've never heard of that. You never, could you look it up? Or maybe call your supervisor and ask him if he knows anything about patient dumping? Because you're hanging out at the hospital and you never heard of patient dumping? I'm not hanging out at the hospital. I'm in the parking lot there. The hospital is right over there. So if I'm hanging out at the hospital, I will be in the hospital. Right. I'm outside. So like I said, I'm trying to report a crime, patient dumping. I was at, I was asked to leave the hospital with with, with influenza and no Were place to go. Say it again? Were you discharged? Yes, I was discharged from the hospital and with no place to go. If you if you would like to Google Google the law, that's called patient dumping. To ask somebody to leave with no place to go is it, it's called patient dumping. Do you guys not enforce those kind of laws? I never heard of that. Before. You never heard of patient dumping? No, sir. Sorry. Well, it was in the news and everything. No, sorry, I'm not so you're not gonna you're not gonna investigate this. I mean, sir, that's something that has to deal with. The that's something to do with the hospital. I've never heard of this. Can I get your, your, your badge number? 628. 628? So you don't think it's appropriate to call your supervisor to to investigate this crime? Uh, so I believe it's more of a civil matter, if anything. Yeah, but you just said you don't even know what law I'm talking about, and you're not willing well, to look it up. Then I believe they, they Are you willing to look up the law that I'm speaking of right now, sir? If they I'm asking you if you're going to investigate sorry. the crime that I'm, I'm asking you about if they discharge you that means they believe that your people go over leaving the hospital okay and i show i could show you my papers that says i have influenza and if you look up the law that i'm speaking to you about instead okay. of saying you're too stupid to understand the law then you would understand that asking someone homeless person to leave the hospital with it, it is called Patient dumping. They should have brought me to a homeless shelter. So how about you go in there, sir, and see if you can speak to a supervisor about that? Because, because your know. officers already asked me to leave the building today, and it shouldn't be their business to... Well, sir, uh, the officer told you to leave, and I guess you had a good reason. I can't overrule the... I can't well, that's why I'm asking you to call your supervisor. Are you willing to investigate your own officers? Well, sir, I'm not a supervisor. And that's why I'm asked. That's why I'm saying it's above your head. Can you call your supervisor? What? To. Sir, you were discharged. No, no, no. no, no. They, 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 through the yeah, but the crime they, happened after the discharge, and you're refusing to investigate. A crime happened after the discharge. You're refusing to investigate, aren't you? You know how asinine you sound. You just keep repeating yourself with dumb shit instead of looking up the law. Uh, okay, you're under oath. You took an oath to to to. Uh... Sir, I can direct you to the hospital. Sir, you did you take did you take an oath? Did you take an oath for this job? Did you take an oath for this job? 
Because right now, I believe you're failing to investigate the crime I'm speaking of is is your is, is tyranny. Is tyranny. I don't answer questions. Obviously, if you don't answer questions, neither will I. Can you get your superior here? Wait for a while. Because I'm reporting a crime and you're saying you're not intelligent enough to understand what the crime is. So all I'm going to say is you can go in there. You can um, I'm asking you to, to, to I'm, asking, I'm asking for your superior, sir. I'm reporting a crime and you're saying that you, you, you aren't intelligent enough to understand the words that are coming out of my mouth. Well, so can you, can, you, can, can you get your superiors here? Because obviously I'm reporting a crime and you're saying that you're not intelligent enough to understand the crime. And you're telling me to go back into the property and cause problems. So I think you need to get your superior here because obviously you're telling me to go back onto the property. There was no crime committed. And if you have an issue with the house, you should take it up with the house. No, I'm asking you to call your superiors because there was a crime committed and you're not intelligent enough to understand the crime. I are busy. And I'm telling you right now, if you, have with the house, if you were so busy, you wouldn't be sitting in the parking lot in front of a place where crimes are committed all the times that you don't com that you don't investigate. Crimes are committed everywhere. Huh? Crimes are committed everywhere. Yeah, but this is a crime that's that you're committing. Your officers are committing by denying the rights, my rights, calling your superior for my rights to be upheld right now. You're you're a tyrant. You're refusing to follow the law, sir. I'm asking you to call your superior so my rights can won't be violated tonight, sir. I explained the law and you said you're too stupid to understand what law it is. I can't I I'm not gonna turn off the film to to let my phone quote the law to you. That's what you get, huh? Sir, are you sure? You're a tyrant? Can I get your badge number, sir? Your badge number, sir. Sir, if you don't back away from my vehicle. I'm asking for your badge number. I'm asking your badge number. Now I'm telling you to back away. I'm asking your badge number, sir. Are you trying to open my vehicle now? No, I was you, knocking. No, you grabbed the handle and you tried to open the door. Yes or no? Now I'm telling you, back away. I need your badge back number, sir. Away. I gave it to you already. Yeah, well, I forgot it. I want to say it again. Do you have it on camera? Give me have it on camera. So you're not going to call your superiors? My door. I'm going to call your superiors right now. Okay. Well, if you can call them, why do you want to do that? Because you're here, and I figured you'd do your job.